Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so just notice we've got um, two functions here that we're graphing. We've got an inverse function and a log function, and they want to know what coordinates best approximate their intersection. So if you have a problem like this, if we had a graph at our disposal for more time, I would encourage you to draw both of them, right? This, this function actually here would be the same thing as one over x, except shifted two to the left, because we're adding to our input and then stretch vertically. And this would be our logarithm shifted one to the left and then vertically up three. This is about our transformations here. But but just to speed things up, I'm gonna go to y equals and I, and I'm gonna enter both graphs and then go from there. And let me just my calculator program seems to be frozen. Let me pause here and fix that. Okay, so I fix that. I go to y equals, clear off any old functions, and then I'm going to enter. We have our first function is 2 divided by, I'm going to make sure to enclose this in parentheses as x plus 2. There's my inverse function, and then I got my log function, so I press the log button. Since the um, log base 10, so it's a common log, x plus 1, close parentheses, plus 3. And then I'm going to hit zoom, and let's just get, hit 6 for a standard zoom. There's my inverse function, there's my log, and there's some kind of intersection happening here. So I'm actually going to press zoom and, and zoom in, and then once I'm going to pick the origin, that's my zoom in point. There's the inverse, there's the log, there's the intersection. I get a better picture. I hit second calc, choice 5 is intersect. Um, hover around the the inverse function, a reciprocal function, which is an inverse function. I think I'm saying that right. It's 1 over x, essentially. Uh, and the second curve, do I have that? I can't see it. So that's, I'm going to scroll over, over, over until I see something. So I um, should be able to see it. There it is, finally. Oh, boy. Enter, and I'm going to kind of scroll over to guess. They're about there. So negative 9.2. So negative 0.9. You can see that in choice 1 and choice 2. And then the output of 1.9. So it is choice 2 right here. So I'm going to circle that. All right. Hope that helped.